What's up, everybody? JB here, and welcome to the 12th. 12th, 12th episode. No! 12, yeah, we just did no. 11 last week. I swear no, uh, to God. I'm pretty sure you have this already is episode fucked of... this intro. Yeah, they were... <laughs> we're gonna keep it, you gotta keep it. You we're have to keep it. it. We're gonna yeah, keep it. Okay, we're gonna keep Welcome to whatever episode this is. Uh... Oh, yeah. Welcome to the 12th episode. <laughs> <laughs> God, Lord. Guest. I am your apparently terrible host, uh, One of JV. I'm One the of other terrible host. The other terrible host. I got I Dalton here. I swear a lot. Yeah, Dalton. Um, and we've got Gustavo and Marlon here, as always. You guys are... Hey, everybody. Guys are, hey, guys. As a rock, I'm telling you. Yeah. But uh, we also have a special guest tonight, Colt Forty. How you doing, buddy? Yay! There he is. Finally got to the good part. That. <laughs> so he's just going to talk the whole time, and we're going to... We're gonna, quiet. we're gonna shut up and give our two cents yeah. like every 20 minutes. We've already muted Marlon, so we'll have a. It'll, <laughs> yes. be a nice short, it'll be a nice short episode this week. So I think we should start off like we always like do. Like we always do. And Gustavo should probably start because he always does. He usually does, yeah. So Gustavo, <laughs> yeah, what have you been playing? He's gonna talk for a while, though, I think. Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna it's lie. A, it's I'm a like great lead off in notes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably Yeah, not like the one the Mets have. Mm-hmm. But, um. Yeah, I've, uh. <laughs> I saw that's playing, references. Uh, that's phase two. Uh, this past uh, this past Friday I started it. I finished it uh, Sunday morning. Like, it was the first time I've played it. You texted us pictures of Dead Space two all week long. So yeah, it. I can definitively say that it's like the Matrix Reloaded of video games, and that it's a great sequel. Like it, it builds and enhances okay. upon everything the first one did. Hold, hold on, yeah. hold on, Is hold on, Reeves in hold it? on. Did you just say that The Matrix Reloaded is better than The Matrix? Absolutely. Unequivocally. That is a yeah. that is a bold ass statement right there. I gotta agree with him, dude. Though. The, uh, the first Matrix thanks, was Dalton. kinda drawn out a little bit and then the second one was just fucking badass On point. almost all the way through. Mm. Alright. I mean, you get the twins in the second one. The twins are awesome. The okay, twins okay, are okay. awesome I'm gonna give you that. That is a that is a valid point. Valid point oh, Jack and Coke there, Danny? Uh, tin cup. I'm fancy. <laughs> <laughs> He's fancy. Okay. As I drink my bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, I like I like whiskey. What can he I sips say? his <laughs> bottle of water rather. <laughs> hey, wait, go ahead, Gustavo. Before we rudely interrupted you. Yes. Sorry. No, you guys are fine. No, this is great. Um, so I'll just start off with the cons. So, like, one of the things I didn't like about the game was the fact that, like, narratively, it just thrusts you into like the deep end of the pool and like expects you to swim. Like, uh, the way the, the original Dead Space ends is that, you know, you fight off this, like, huge necromorph on uh, Aegis 7, which is the planet that the Marker was originally in. I don't want to get too much into the first game, but um, it, it, it starts three years after, and you're in this uh, space station close to Titan called the Sprawl, and as soon as you wake up, like, things have gone to hell. Like, there's no explanation as to why it happened, when it happened, it's just you wake up and you're in the middle of it, and I didn't like that too much. Um, I didn't like how uh, Isaac Clark, the main protagonist, wasn't sort of, he wasn't phased by it at the beginning. Like he's been in a coma for three years. He wakes up and he's in the same hellhole he was before those three years. I'm like, what is going on here? So I wasn't a big fan of either. I wasn't a big fan of that either. Uh, there's not much of a backstory on like the main antagonist because of the fact that they used uh, what they call what EA called transmedia. So they had things like books, graphic novels, God, uh, about that. the films, right, to sort of yeah, buff yeah. up the, the narrative of the game. And like seven years later, it doesn't really hold up if you don't watch it, right? A so of, that sort of A lot of, of game companies during that time period used to do that. Because well, there's another game we're going to talk about later that did the same thing where they put out like a animated series, like kind of bridging the two games in that series. Yeah, I know. I remember yeah. Gears of War had a couple books. Actually, those yeah. Gears of War books were pretty good. But anyway, the Gears books, the Mass Effect books were good. The Halo books were good. All the, the extra Witcher stuff. Books. The Witcher books are also very, very good. Uh, but, just two more sorry. quick things regarding like the cons. Yeah. Sorry, um, my bad. it's more it's more action focused. Um, as opposed to the first one, which was a little plodding. It was a little slow. The pace was definitely slower. Um, so I didn't like that, but it, it worked out fine. And then the boss fight just sucked. <clears> like. Not unlike the first game, the boss fight just was like the, was trash. the final boss. Yeah, the final yeah. boss. Yeah, on that the is Dead Space. probably the literally the weakest moment of that game. But I don't Absolutely, want to get into yeah. too much detail. But, but granted, the game's been out for however many years now. Yeah, like seven years now. But no, I, yeah, totally, I agree. It sucked. Now to the to the pros. There's a lot of pros here. I'm gonna try to go as quick as I possibly can. Go for 
Yeah. So, uh, solid gameplay. It's uh, is is basically the same. It's just much better. So uh, you got the cutting of the limbs. They added a hacking mini game, which is kind of cool because it fits into the narrative of the character in terms of Isaac, like he's an engineer. So there's like these electrical panels that he has to like, uh, like uh, I can't really explain it. This is mini game that he does in order like to restore power or to get certain elevators or bridges to work. That's kind of cool. Um, the sandbox of the game world is is bigger because when you were in the Ishimura in the first game, you were plotting along uh, pl- uh, plotting along these small tight corridors as opposed to uh, the space station, uh, the sprawl, which is like huge, like it's 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 really big. Um, you have more weapon variety, more enemy variety. Uh, they actually reworked the zero uh, gravity sections. Like in the first game, it was very simple. Just Isaac stuck to the floor with his gravity boots, and you would aim and just go from point A to point B. Uh, in Dead Space 2, you have complete control over the character in, Dead, in, in, uh, in the gravity section. Zero uh, gravity sections is actually pretty cool. Uh, uh, what was it again that I wrote? Yeah, you have way more control over Isaac. Um, but they sort of had to do that because like, in the first game, you're really like he's very lumbering. He's very slow. He's hard to control. Um, it feels like you're controlling molasses. Like he's like he's like in Nevada molasses because that's how slow he is. But um, in the second game is not like that. Like he's much more mobile okay, and that works out. Um, probably one of the biggest things that I loved was the the setting itself, the sprawl. Like there were way more varied environments. You had a cathedral in there. In, uh, because they, they were trying to give like a narrative mm-hmm. spin to unitology, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. We had uh, apartments, like these sort of apartments inside the space station, because we had thousands of people living in the space station. And then the craziest thing, they had a nursery, which I don't know if anybody played the game, but that part, like when I played that part, I was like, God, this is sick. Like you have little babies. I have a nursery like, in my house. Becoming like these <laughs> little necromorphs, which is crazy. <laughs> God, Lord. I do. Uh, well, do you really? Yeah, I just built one. Yep. Oh, wow. well, yeah, you're going to be a dad soon, so yeah, it makes sense. Kind of has to. <laughs> yeah, at least not going to be fucking xenomorph. Oh, Vega, but, uh, but, but yeah. Uh, Some more of the pros is that the game is, is, I found it to be a little harder on the default setting as opposed to uh, Dead Space 1. Um, maybe because of the variety of enemies, like it's hard for me. It was a little harder. I died way more times than I did in the first one, so that that was actually cool. Um, the graphics are sort of the same, but in the first game it was like very drab and gray and brown, and there's a little bit more color in the first in the second one, which I actually liked. Um, and to round up, just two quick things. My favorite part of the game was chapter ten. Um, I don't want to spoil it for folks who get upset about spoilers, but I will spoil this. Oh, yeah. In Chapter 10, you go back to the Ishimura. Oh, yes. And I'm not going to lie. Like, the game itself isn't scary. Like, the, the Necromorphs aren't... I don't find them scary at all. But the sound design and the environment, like, you constantly feel oppressed when you play this game. Like, you just want to hide under a rock. And going back to the Ishimura was like it was like a welcome back home. Like when you when you ride up that elevator, that you go into that tunnel and you see it says it USG Ishimura, and you're like, oh man, it's like it's welcome me back home. And that section was pretty cool. Like a lot of people probably would have given it a hard time back in 2011 when it released. They're like, oh, they're reusing assets. They're just giving us the same level, just you know, with a little bit of, uh, with a little bit of variety. No, it was it but was I, a very good like throwback like tie-in i guess at least that's, love- at the time that's how i felt about it yeah play- going back there i was like wow like this dude three years back went through hell and back on this ship and he's got to go back to fix something like he's, yeah. the, he's the dude he's the guy right now um yeah. and then secondly i can like i, I sort of started with this and i'll end with this i can definitively say like i haven't played that basically i plan on playing it after i platinum two but that space two is like the definitive Dead Space game thus far. Amen. I really, yeah. really enjoyed it. That's still how I feel, and I've played all three of them. I think uh, for me, for Dead Space Two, well, Dead Space felt just like, um, you know, like scary moments and stuff like that. But Dead Space Two just felt like pressure. It felt like somebody was breathing down your neck the entire time. The entire and like, time. And I was like, oh my god, I, I can't handle this. This is too much for me. So I can understand where he's coming from with that. I'm- 
I'm glad that you mentioned that in the first game. So uh, and I know it's been a long time, but whoever has played it, you can always remember that there's these safe spots, right? And you, for whatever reason, you feel safe on those safe uh, those save points because you only get attacked once, right? You, you never really get attacked at all when you're saving or when you're in that room to save. Dead Space 2 was completely different. You never had that, like, wind down, relax for a couple minutes, and then move on to the next section. You never had that in Dead Space 2. It was just constant, constant beating you down, beating you over the head with all this, like, oppression. But, no, I loved it. It was a great game. Sweet. Awesome. <clears throat> Anything else you played this week or just Dead Space 2? Um, I streamed Inside again. Oh, yeah. That was... That. Yeah. yeah. If you guys Very get a good. chance, go check out uh, Justice Treasures on uh, YouTube. Marlon, we know what you played. Uh, we know what you played. I'm assuming it's gonna. Does it rhyme with Schmonster Schmunter? <laughs> <laughs> it runs with. Holy crap! This game is way too fucking long. I'll tell you though. That, so it's Monster Hunter. Right. Yeah. Um, I just. <laughs> I don't beat... see what the <laughs> what the shock is here. <laughs> I'll tell you this. It, I'm out. Like I'm I'm the balls in it, man. It's 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 taking over my life like Destiny had. Um. For me, in Destiny, like at the beginning of the of the second year, uh, and if anybody wanted to ask me something about a quest, uh, lore, I'll be like, I'm the guy. I, I'll I'll lead you into the right direction. This is happening with Monster Hunter right now. It's to the point where I am looking at guys, looking at builds, looking up at everything that I can do to maximize my build, and I'm only Hunter rank 62. And, and I'm still missing, what, 38 more, 40 more levels to get to higher platinum this game? Yeah. But uh, for now, I just beat... I, I, I was going to oh, say, yeah. I, can imagine, I can't even imagine how long that platinum is. Yeah. Oof. Uh, for now, I just beat the Temper Caring, uh, which is uh, the... In the game, it's it gives you three quests. Uh, one of the quests is a hunter rank 29, and you cannot level up until you beat it. The second one is a hunter rank 49, and you cannot level up until you beat it. And I think the last one is at 89 or 100. So, yeah, I've been at just balls deep in this shit, man. <laughs> Fair enough, brother. All right. <laughs> hey, anything else, or is that just the only one? Yeah, pretty um, much he's playing. Yeah, I've been playing, and playing some like uh, mobile games and stuff like that, but I'm not going to get into that. Okay. Um, Mobile games. Mo- yeah. Mobile. Like, like, You're it's so like... You're so goddamn some... foreign, white son. It's okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's... said it like Bane says it in the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> Time to go mobile. <laughs> Time to go mobile. Holy cow. But simple as that, yeah. Uh, so that's that's what he's been playing. Uh, what What is our uh, guest over here, Colt Forty? What have you been our playing? Our honored man? guest. Why don't I get to go last? I'm the guest. Do you want to go last? You can skip <laughs> I'll us. Say we, yeah. yeah. Of course I want to go last. You want to go All last? Right. I just, I he just wants to be like the he wants. Said anything. The last. All right. Uh, no, don't. I'm like the I'm like the main event. You, I I agree with that. I like this guy. Are, are we are we talking yeah, wrestling him. now? Yeah. Yes. I'll do that. I'll he's, do that all night. He's he's, he's basically like this. I don't know anything. He's. Yeah, we, Cole, you want to talk about elimination chamber? I'll talk about everybody. I can bitch about for that. You have to make Roman look strong. You have to make Roman look strong. You guys can totally yeah. do that. Have like a wrestling show almost. I would, I would be I would 100% okay with that. I can't that's believe awesome. Roman Reigns is in the main event again. That's oh, just God. Oh, I know. Oh, God. Four oh, I don't know. Vince just needs to stop. Vince needs to die. This is the oh, past God. three years. This time coming. for real. Basically, no, no fake. They've uh, shut uh, the Roman Reigns. No, this time for real. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it John Cena? No. He's basically the new John Cena. I know who that is. <laughs> only worse. Yeah, only worse. I'll John give you that. At least John Cena got some pop, right? This guy gets nothing. Like he's just trash. God, no, he gets don't even remind me. God. Anyway, it's like we we, ah, we can what a... another place, another time for wrestling. So yeah. <laughs> but uh, Dalton, what have you been playing this week, man? So yeah, I haven't really. I mean, I played two games, but I have not really turned my PlayStation on since I bought another Nintendo Switch. Damn. Yeah, dude. I uh. Played a, obviously played a fuck ton of Stardew Valley, which yeah. is such a basic ass game, but it's, it's so, so fun. It's so fun. It's yeah. it's just you can just kind of like veg out and just do nothing and just play. Stardew Got like Valley. the old style Pokemon graphics and stuff, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like this week I played uh, I played Bayonetta the first one for the first time ever. I had never played Uh-oh. it. Um, it was it was really good. Uh, combat the combat was what saved the game in my opinion. Like I I liked it. I, I liked the story. But, like, Jeff and I will agree on that, that it's, it was kind of hard to follow. It was... Really hard to follow, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, once you get to the end, it kind of... What do you expect? 
Yeah, it kind of like brings itself back in, but even then you kind of... Getting know. to that point, there's a lot of like weird character motivations and like really weird like time jumps and they'll yeah. do something and then they will retro explain it yeah like after it's already been like completed and it's it's like i i posted in the group chat like i, I also i finished bayonetta this week as well um yeah, for we the can Switch. just do a joint thing here. right and i my honestly my biggest opinion of it is i did like the combat is solid and fun devil may and cry over the top yes and i'm a huge fan i've played every devil may cry game and i've even the newer one the the ninja theory one uh, and i loved it mm. i i loved all of them um but the story and the fact that like a third of the game of the like eight hours i put into the game to finish it was cutscenes. yeah well, and that's the, like, that's what I was saying. The cutscenes don't bother me. I like a cinematic experience, especially I do too. in like, a lot of my games. Yeah. But I can understand where someone would be a, like a little put off by it, I suppose. But yeah, all I mean, in all, though, I think the game itself was solid, especially for a game that's what nine years old now. It's yeah. not a new game. Uh, twenty ten. Okay, was eight years old. So eight years old. Yeah, so, almost to the month. Yeah, so. so. I, it's hard to bitch about it because it is an eight year old game. Right. It's aged pretty well. It's aged like, pretty well. I'll give you that. The combat is probably what helps it out. Yeah, oh, the yeah. combat is so fun. I, I, it's still as smooth as ever, especially now that mm-hmm. on the Switch it's running at 60. Yeah, like, it's pretty locked much locked 60. 60. It'll drop down to like 50 at, at the worst. Mm-hmm. But all in all, though, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I bought the second one on uh, Switch eShop. I bought them both on there for 30 bucks a piece. Yeah. I'm gonna. So, I'm most likely gonna still pick up the second one because, from what I've heard, it's like the Dead Space Two, where it took everything that was great about the first game and cranked it up to eleven. I've heard the story is ridiculous for the second one. Like, well, it's awesome, yeah. but I've heard it's just it's it's just it's complete batshit insanity. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, I'm looking forward to that, and I, I think Bayonetta herself I kinda, is I a great character. I kind of think that I kind of think that they they honestly needed to go bat shit insane because the i think that's what i think i didn't like about the story from the first one that it wasn't that it was i mean it was complicated and kind of convoluted but they, it tried in certain points it took itself really seriously yeah but then yeah, it also say that. like then two seconds later you were running upside down like fighting a giant angel demon boss thing, yeah. and, like, <laughs> and you're like what the yeah, hell you're like what the fuck basically yeah. <laughs> So, so it was really good though. I, I mean, I, I like I said I don't have a popular opinion about it. I just feel that I don't I didn't love it to the extent that people are like, it has no faults, it's a perfect game. Oh, yeah. absolutely not. It's, right. it's not what even about in my it top besides... 10 games. But it is a great game, mm-hmm. I think. I but it's really hard to crack my top ten. I've got some solid ass games in there, so mm-hmm. um But yeah, Bayonetta it was I, I still recommend picking them both up for say, sixty yeah. bucks. Yeah, you I was say, get both games for sixty bucks, and the third one's supposed to be coming out this year. Yeah, the rumors are this yeah, fall for, for the Switch. Exclusive so, for Switch, yeah. So yeah, and plus it gives you a reason to play your Switch. Yeah, I, fucking, I was gonna say yeah. I didn't, I hadn't touched it since Mario, so yeah. it was it was a nice it was nice <laughs> to get reacquainted with that system and be like, oh, this is why I love the Switch. The Switch is <laughs> it's awesome, dude. I fucking love the Switch. Yep. And that brings me Jeff. like. To the point where I didn't play my PlayStation for almost two weeks. Oh yeah, uh, he's been out for like. But he did manage to sink in Platinum 26 though. I did. I, uh, uh... I got Platinum 26 yesterday. I started it yesterday and got it yesterday. But nice. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a hard Platinum. A little. I mean, I say it's time consuming because it kind of is, but it only took me for less than five hours. But um, it's a lot of walking. What game was it? Okay, yeah, I was. Insane. Everybody has gone to the Rapture. Yeah. I don't know why I said it like that. Everybody's gone to the Rapture. Not everybody has, but. Either way, you get the fucking idea. But it was a, <laughs> it was a good game. I, I it was boring. It's just <clears> typical, <throat> you know, like gone home stuff like that. Your typical, basically point and click. Look at this. Activate this with the X button. That's it. There's no. Gotcha. There's no combat. You can only walk so fucking fast, which is that's that's what I heard was fury. That's what walking, I heard was the worst part of that game. Yeah, you cannot sprint. They say if you hold down the R2, you, you go a little faster. bit faster, but I, it, it's really fairly noticeable. noticeable. Yeah. It's it's hardly noticeable. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've I've heard that like that game is really good and everybody should play it. But I've heard that the biggest thing that a lot of people heard have to get over is the fact that it's so slow moving. And I I've had it for a while. It was free on PlayStation Plus. Mm-hmm. I want to say either this year or the year before. I it was, I think it was last year. It was so last it year. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. I, I think it was summer of last year. And I didn't play it like at all. <laughs> I, I do that with a lot of the freebie games. Well, yeah, unfortunately, though. 
Me too, and I, I'll be honest, I didn't play it because, like, I don't want to get into this, but I didn't play it because I thought it was, like, a Christian game. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, I'm not playing this. You know, no, no offense if you're a Christian, <clears throat> but it's not my thing. But yeah, so I was he, like, yeah, you know what, I'm just going to skip this one because this is not for me. So I was like, but then I, I started reading some of the reviews, and it right. wasn't what I thought. I judged it. Yeah. I, and uh, I played it, and it was, it was a solid game. I mean, it's really boring. If you can sit down and get the platinum, which I did. Great, right, but if not, I do not fault you because if you want to just play through the story, it's it, it's got a decent story too. Right, you can beat the story in like twenty minutes. So seriously, yeah, I swear. You yeah, there's all a lot the of speed story, runs on it on D2. The... Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've had it. I actually, funny, funny enough, I bought it when it came out because I heard so no, okay. many people talk about yeah. it. But I yeah, never it got a lot of good it. press. It was pretty. Yeah, I, I do that, unfortunately, do a lot of indie stuff. Like, people, like, talk up all these indie games, and I'm like, oh, it's, you know, 10, 15 bucks, I'll buy it. I do the it, same shit. And I'll buy it, but then it'll just literally sit on my hard drive for years, actually, because that game's been out since 2016. I'm more of a AAA kind of guy. I, 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 it's good to support the indie developers, right, though, so I don't, I don't fault you for that. I'm point where I'm just basically, instead of playing what's hot right now, like the big game that everybody's talking about, I'm just playing whatever the how I feel like. Yeah, me too. Yep. And I'm mean, it's, it's yeah, really here. nice. Mm. It's super refreshing to not be like, you know, and, under the gun of like, oh man, this big game just came out. Why haven't you played it yet? You and know? the sudden, like, I, I don't want to say sudden, but it feels like the resurgence of single player games. Like, it's awesome to see. I love it. And I, it's especially awesome. for me, I'm not a big multiplayer guy, right. so. When I get all these, like, I've got so many single-player games that I've been playing lately, and it's fucking great for me. I Actually, that's, <laughs> other than Fortnite, all I played this week was single-player yeah, stuff. So, yeah. Which is great for, for me. For a guy like me who doesn't play multiplayer games a whole right. lot. Besides Destiny, really. Right. That's, like, the only one, but. But that's more of a, if, in your case, it's more of a co-op, because you don't play a ton of Crucible. No, but I do play a lot no. of games. Right. So, but yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm going to have to back Jeff here on that one, too. Like, you guys. So far, every single one of you guys have, like, the big games covered, like, uh, at the beginning of the year, Monster Hunter, yeah, Shadow right. of the Colossus, and I can just fall back and play God of War, which is, like, 10 years old, and right. play Dead yeah. Space, which is, like, 8 Same years here. old, Did right? you see my trophy list? It's all old games. Right. Dude, like... Remastered like, versions of old well, games. Well, yeah, Shadow of the Colossus, yeah. Yeah. But... yeah. I think uh, one of the games that I really want to go back and play will be DuckTales Remastered. Just, 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 See, I, just I, to I veg out. On those. Like, I, I was, I did, I was after that era of games, so I watched, not really... I watched DuckTales. Yeah, I mean, I watched the show too, but I didn't. No, no, I, I kind of play a lot of the old, like, like, yeah, no, don't go do that, please, no, just don't, <laughs> don't please, don't, uh, but, um, I, I play a lot of, like, the old, like, DuckTales, Tiny Toons, like, uh, Lion King, oh, like, yeah. a lot of the Those old games. Those games, I mean, games. from what I've heard, I, again, I, I didn't play really the games, played, I just watched dude, the movies. Dude, man, the freaking Lion King here. was a bitch. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're a, if you're a freaking uh, 50-year-old or 20-year-old or even 10-year-old. That game is a bitch Honestly, and a half. Yeah. Actually, that Lion King was stupid hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story. <laughs> The Toy it Story game been. was super hard too. Yeah. It shouldn't have been hard, but it was hard as fuck. Do you guys remember that fuck? Toy Story game for PC? Oh, Lord. That was such a oh. motherfucker. Don't remind <laughs> me of that shit, please. Yeah, but. Don't that's what I've been playing, Jeff. What have you been playing, buddy? Um, well, like I, I left was my own forgotten for me. Like I was just saying, I did. Uh, I played a lot of single player stuff this week. Um, in kind of the vein of the whole walking simulator theme that Dalton just talked about, I. Um, I've been trying to clean up the Telltale games that I have not finished. He's trying to get on our level on Platinum's goof. I, I okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have Platinum's six and seven here within the next couple of weeks. Woo! That's I'm more so than most close, people I'm have. I'm so though. close to you guys. Most people don't even my, have one Platinum. My only Platinums are Telltale games and near. <laughs> That's literally my only of. Platinums. No but way. um, but yeah, I've been I uh I've was a couple episodes, like, I played the first two episodes of the second season of the Batman Telltale series, and I loved them, but I kind of, like, as the third and fourth episodes came out, I didn't really play them right away. So this past week, I played both of those, and so I'm I'm literally caught up, so whenever the final episode comes out next month, I will be able to finish that, and, and I honestly, I think I like this season better than the first one, um, because the, I, I don't want to get too much into spoiler territory, but they do uh, a really, really cool thing with one of the main villains of the Batman series. Cool. Um, 
and it's really interesting, and I'm really curious to see how they wrap it up. Um, and then Dalton actually was watching me as uh, when he came over. Was I'm on the third episode of the uh, Telltale uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, I played the first two uh, last last year, like the end of last year, and I never got a chance to pick up the last three episodes. So I picked them up. I only spent like it was like fifteen bucks, five bucks an episode. So I finished purchasing all those, and I'm almost done with episode three of that. Um, it's good. It's not probably my favorite Telltale series, but it's still super, super interesting. I got that game for nine ninety nine last year during Black Friday. I really wish I would have like probably bought it then because I mean I didn't. I mean, granted, I didn't spend a lot of money on it, so. Right. <laughs> but. Hey, uh, Jeff and Dalton, just circling back real quick to Bayonetta, I wanted to ask this. I was actually um, doing my next game to talk about, so go for it. Did you guys play it on handheld primarily, I or did, what the was whole the split? Time. I did not how, how, it one oh, time. Other than great, the final... great. So question, how did it handle on handheld? Really good. Be- beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. nice. Yeah, I prefer to play the, my Switch in handheld. Other than the last two chapters, I played the entire thing in handheld. The only reason I played the last two chapters not in handheld was because my battery is almost dead, and I need and I wanted to finish the game. I bought an extra <laughs> six-foot extension for my charger. I need to do that. They're cause... like ten bucks at Walmart. And yeah. They, I played it in bed, and it was fucking right. awesome. Yeah. I love it. So. I need to do that. Get an extra charger to have in the bedroom, because the, the need, dock is in the living room. You need to buy one of those extensions, yeah. too. It's, it's so worth it. My phone charger extension is like 10 feet long. Jesus. So I can take my phone all the way around my house pretty much. <laughs> That's awesome. You can take it on the shitter. Yeah, I do. I, Hell yeah. <laughs> I have to have a phone or something while I'm taking dude, shit. Dude, I know, right? When I worked in a factory, dude, I literally go to the bathroom and like I didn't have to shit, but I would sit there and just play <laughs> games on my phone. Oh, you make that distinction? Hey, I didn't have to shit at the factory, but yeah, <laughs> I didn't have to shit. I was just fucking. But yeah, no gaming, bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Bayonetta, I finished this week. You know, I kind of gave most of my thoughts on it. Like, yeah, it's a just... great game. I just, I didn't, I don't love it as as much as some people do. But besides the cinematics, was there anything else that you felt like just put you off? No, honestly, because the gameplay, the boss battles, the Bayonetta the characters, herself, yeah, yeah, the characters are all super interesting and super fun. Progression and like you, you, we talk about you know game like we we're talking about how like Mario just made you kind of like smile and be happy. There were points in Bayonetta where I was like just the craziness of like the the dialogue and like the way Bayonetta acts in certain situations. Like, I was grinning because it was just so over-the-top and ridiculous. Yeah, that and I'm when like, she does, like, a special move, her suit is actually her hair. Yeah, so, and, like, and it, like, manifests, <laughs> yeah, it manifests into these, like, giant, like... Yeah. And she's legitimately standing there pretty much naked while her hair is going and doing her thing. <laughs> yeah, killing so. so, like, for example, um, Dalton was, like, he, he liked it a lot, and he's, like, totally sold for uh, uh, Bayonetta 2. Do you feel the same way, Jeff? Yeah, um, I'm gonna, I'm eventually, uh, not not anytime probably in the super near future, but probably within the next couple months, I will go ahead and pick up two, because I do, because I like I have heard from a lot of people that it is better than the first one yeah. by a long shot, so I'm kind of hoping that two fixes my issues right. that I had with the first one, so then I can, you know, actually be like, okay, yeah. I am super stoked for the third one. Because right now, I'm just like, oh, I want to play, like, I want to play the other two Bayonetta games, like, mm-hmm. when three comes out, but I may not buy it at launch. Yeah. But I'm hoping Bayonetta right. 2 makes me be like, no, I have to have this day one kind of thing. And I agree with you on a lot of your points on it. Yeah. So it's not like you had an, un- like, like me with Zelda, I had, that was an unpopular opinion. I right. Think, but, eh. Um, yeah, everybody's got their own. Everybody's got their own likes and dislikes. He defended it, so. Games. But I still like the game, though. So yeah. yeah. But anyway, I was trying to talk uh, Colt here into getting the Bayonetta games the other day. Yeah. Um. Which but. Can lead. Yeah, I was gonna say the last. I have like one other thing I wanted to, to talk about. Um. I did play some Fortnite on the stream on Friday. Um. And my my girlfriend's uh, kid made a special appearance because she. Loves YouTube and loves watching people play games on YouTube, so she uh, hijacked my stream there for a little while Saw on that. Friday. She's Smart. a big AEG fan. Yes, and then so then she wanted to play Minecraft and Fortnite on the channel, so I made a couple smaller <clears throat> YouTube videos with her, and they're Which up on cool. the they're up on the YouTube channel right now. Yeah, it's really cool. So 
Um, we at AEG support child labor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, it's free. It's, easy. Oh, it's, it's nice content that we can get made. So. Yeah. But uh, the last thing I played this week, um, I played it like really early in the week, um, was I played through the entire campaign of Call of Duty World War II in three sittings. Nice. I really freaking liked that campaign. Uh, I love, like, shooter campaigns. Specifically, the Call of Duty campaigns have always been pretty good, but I think this one, above a lot of them, is probably one of my favorites. I actually gave a crap about the characters, and they actually, like, made, like, they made me want to continue to play the game, and actually, and then the, the, the game is just damn pretty, and it's really gritty and realistic, and it it just it's fun. It, it, you would think like, oh, it's it's supposed to be this like gritty uh, representation of World War II, but it's actually it makes it kind of fun in a way, which is kind of weird to say. But I I really liked it. Like I recommend even if you're not like a big multiplayer person, at least like rent the game because the story took me probably between all three sittings, I probably did like two two and a half hours per sitting. So it's only about a about six hours, Five, seven six and a half. Five, six-hour game, yeah. 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 And I was playing on easy, um, just kind of burning through it. There were a couple spots where I actually did... It It, it was... It can be kind of difficult, but it was fun. I enjoy it. I recommend it. I really don't have extra, that much else to say. You should, I feel that everybody should give it a shot if you like shooter campaigns. So... I still haven't even touched the campaign on that. I got it day one, but right. I've like strictly played multiplayer on it. See, I don't, and, um, I've, well, you did better than me because I got it day one and haven't touched it at all. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I got it day one. I played a little bit of multiplayer, and I played, like I think it was maybe the first mission of the campaign, and then I haven't touched it until now. Yeah. So, I mean, four months <clears> later. So. Yeah, but, I really uh, like the multiplayer on that one. It's good. Right. The, I, mean, the I like the new good. maps. Yeah. The new maps are nice. I've heard they that. They look good. They play good. That war mode is awesome, man. It's like sort of like an Overwatch variant, but I loved it. Yeah. Well, I've since, still, since I've still hardly uh, even played war. Since you're already talking there, uh, Colt, why don't you, why don't you, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you've been playing? Yeah. Today? Finally, the main event. <laughs> the main event. The main event of the evening. We've got to make uh, Colt look strong. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> got your yellow go out there. Oh, that's. Yeah, oh, go out there and do the job. That was a deep I gotta, cut wrestling reference right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I, got, Lord, my. I gotta get my shit in. You yes. know? That's right. You gotta let get, let your, get shit your shit in. in. All right, nature boy. Lay <laughs> you're stiff. You're stiff. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I just kind of dabbled recently. Um, I've been bouncing around a lot. When I get a chance to like, sit down and play for like a long time, I'll go back and play more Breath of the Wild. Nice. I've still been playing that since Christmas, still trying to finish that. So that's just kind of a here and there thing. Um, I played Mario Party this weekend. Mario Party 5? Yeah, well, uh, is that all you played? That was super. That was super fun, by the way. Going going back and playing old Mario Party games is so fun. We'll lead into that here in a minute. Yeah, we'll we'll get to that. That was was a whole debacle. We'll talk about that. Uh, (laughs) um, Played a little Fortnite. First time I played that in about three or four weeks. I... (laughs) I got to a point with Fortnite where I got so mad because I was like, why am I playing something that I'm never actually going to win? I just like, got so frustrated. <laughs> I almost won. It dawned on you. Yeah. I, I, I was it, top five in one of my matches on Friday. Almost but won. But... We, I went back. I played some squads with some friends Saturday night while I was super drunk. And it was, I had a good time with yeah. it. I mean, not, it's still right? a fun game, even though it's super frustrating because I feel like I'm super bad and everybody else is really good. Yeah. <laughs> like every time you feel like you're loaded, you're like, yeah, I could totally take on the world now. And then somebody just pops you, no problem. And yep. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was watching Jeff's stream earlier and he had like the stereotypical moment of like, oh, I wonder what's over here. It walks around the corner, shot, dead. Yep. And I'm like, yep. It's about right. That's, that sums up. That's, that's nice. Fortnite in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> uh, ooh, sh- something shiny. Oh, yep. Like yeah. ooh, something shiny. <laughs> They're dead. All right, yeah. we're done. Basically. <laughs> like a raccoon in a trap. Uh, <laughs> yeah. After that, we played some Rocket League, some uh, some three v three Rocket League, which I I've talked about this so many times with friends and stuff, but as far as like free games that I've got 
I, I don't know how I could ever top Rocket League. Like, I got it for the original, like, free download yeah, when it was, two summers yeah, ago. Yeah, when it was PlayStation, when it was, like, one of the first PlayStation, PlayStation Plus, Plus games. Yeah. yeah it launched on PlayStation Plus as a freebie, actually. Yep. Yeah. Unreal. And nobody, probably, nobody really knew what they were getting until it blew yeah. them all up. Yeah. They know they'd get an E-League game eventually. But... Right? The first game from Psyonix that they made uh, the uh, before Rocket League was called uh, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Car. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah. So, that was fun. I can't believe I remember that. Yeah, I, I don't know how that title didn't catch on more. Yeah, but. that should have been. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's such a good title. Fuck. Yeah, like I, I still go back and play that all the time. Like you said, I'm nowhere near as good as Rob. Rob can do all the cool fucking tricks and flips and air I'm dribbles about getting and it for Switch, dude. I yeah, I want it for Switch so bad. Just because I want to play it in handheld, basically. Yeah, if you I get mean, it, let me know. I was gonna say my, I, I would be down with all three of us getting it and, and doing that. That would be fun. I'll buy it yeah. tonight if you're gonna get it. But you gotta add me, fucking dick. My, I know. I need to turn <laughs> on the switch in the past week. Uh, no, like as far as just free games go, man, I've probably logged like 80 hours into it. Like yeah. the amount of keys I've bought for crates, I probably oh, spent. God. I've easily spent a hundred dollars on keys just for fucking. Aesthetics. Di- digital it's... aesthetics of cars. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why. It's just addicting. I, I got hooked. They have the R34 <laughs> skyline in that game, and I was going to buy it. Yeah, they have yeah. like a Fast and Furious Sweet. pack for that. Yeah, they yes. have that. Yeah, they have that. So they cool. It's pretty legit. Pack. And I think they just put out the Batmobile recently, I think, too, didn't they? Yeah, Batmobile was a little while ago, oh, okay. which was like super overpowered because it just hit everything. Like the hitbox on it was gigantic. Jesus. The Tumblr. Yeah, it's I. Uh. <laughs> so, question: Cole, What is, has been like the worst moment for you in Rocket League? Like the ones that makes you go like, "Oh my god, this is some bullshit." Um, I'll admit, like, I love how good they are with their community. Like that they're updating so much, and there's patches all the time. Because there have been like moments where it was super shitty and like the servers were so bad. Yeah, I remember that. Like, that was on. The, the wherever, for a while, the servers were so laggy and like you would just drive like right through the ball and it would yeah. like, lead to stupid goals. So I think that, like, there have been like just cringeworthy moments that I've had, but it's it's gotten so much better and it kind of has to now that they are an e-league sport. Like, yeah. and it's a I, huge game now. I was too. gonna say I can't believe that, that was like, something as simple as yeah. Rocket League is an e-league game now. Yeah, it's like like colleges have freaking Rocket League teams now. Yeah, yeah. that's insane. I th- I think for me that like the worst moment that I ever had in that game was uh, I was playing online and we were in overtime. It was five five I believe, and I have the ball. I'm running and I'm gonna go for a. Uh, I guess you could say bicycle kick. I guess you could say where the car yeah. does uh, uh, does a flip, and I hit it and it hits the rim of the fucking goal, and then goes back and gets an own goal from that. And I'm like, okay. Oh, Dude, that nope. shit happens yep. all the time. I've seen that shit all the time. <laughs> I was like, God damn it, man! I lost a fucking game because of this bullshit. Yeah. No, man, come on, give me a break. Oh fuck! It's it's one of those things. It's just it's such a simple simple game. Yeah. But with so much like little tiny details, like I always call it the game of minor mistakes. Like it's essentially the tiniest mistake is what's going to cost you a goal. You'll play great for three minutes and then just barely miss, and that's when you let up the goal. Yeah, but so it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's like it's like fighting all over again. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anything else, Colt? Um, besides from that, I've been playing like the original RPG. I'm talking about Dungeons and Dragons, people. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Uh, oh, have you been doing a lot of like uh, play uh nights with that? We like just started. We finally like found enough people that would like sit down and play. We got somebody that would dungeon master for us, and Stranger Things. It has been so fun. I like was, it's. Been, it's been a couple of years since I've done that with the with the old group I used to podcast with. We we had like, we did like we recorded D and D sessions, which was really fun. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. You thought about doing something like that yeah. in the future? It's just um, it's so fun. It's it's ah, oh, it's, it's, it's like everything you love about like Skyrim. Well. But with just straight imagination, like yep. you want to do it, do it. 
And I think uh, my girlfriend loves playing that. Uh, she's, I think she's playing a Cthulhu version of it on, like, on Saturdays with her group yeah. of friends. And, like, she, the, the kind of shenanigans that they get into in that fucking edit, is, like, she tells me, I'm like, how does people come yeah. up with this bullshit? Like, how? Like, yeah. Like, it's the most ridiculous fun. stuff. Like, and that's what makes it memorable. Like, we had a friend who's, like, movement area was 25 feet at a time. But you wanted to, like, get to the very end of his 25 feet, but there's a, like, three-foot fence at the very end of it. So we're like, we're like, okay, you can go over this fence, but you're going to have to roll for it. And he rolled a one, which is the absolute worst thing you can do when you're trying to do anything. Yep. So we're like, okay, as you're trying to run, you run and you try to stride and jump over the fence, but you trip, flip, roll, land on your back, knock the wind out of yourself, and alert all the goblins. <laughs> It was the funniest fucking thing. So then he's just surrounded by goblins, like, just oh, getting destroyed. God. It's so it's hard just to like, find the time, though. It's, it's the stupidest thing. It's it make it so much fun. Especially when you've got as many habits and hobbies as I do. It's just... Yeah. Fucking pain in the ass. Yeah. Man. Yeah. But it sounds so fun. To... It is super... it, it's something I would love to, to get back yeah. into and do again. For sure. We've been trying to set aside like one night a week where we just sit down for like two, three hours and just drink and play and That's just have a fucking so great time. It's so, uh, so good. Yeah. But yeah. But, but yeah, very, very good. So yeah, you, you uh, what else did you play though? You kind of talked about it a little bit ago. What uh? Oh uh, yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea to get together with my friends and drink beer and play Mario Party Saturday on the GameCube, the I most underrated it, system of all time. Yeah, oh, it was a sweet idea. I had a blast so for I. the most part. <laughs> but yeah, we, but, uh, but yeah, talk. what he's referring to is uh, Colt is actually one of my co-hosts on Oldies and Coldies, um, and we were filming our highly anticipated second episode, <laughs> and. Yeah. Uh, it didn't record. Yeah. We had a good episode lined up too, man. I, I just, it was I'm one still of like, out. It was an outstanding, outstanding episode. Like it couldn't have gone any better as far as like a video goes. Like it was super tight. We're down to like the last two turns, and we get to Aww. a point where it's me and Dalton both have a star, and I land on his space, so we get the chance to duel. And everybody's like, "Oh, duel him for the star! Duel him for the star!" And I'm like that's usually not my game. Like I usually go for the coins and I'm like, let the stars fall where they are. I'm not going to be the dick who steals your stars. And I, like, I won't brag, but Dalton can somewhat vouch for me. I'm pretty good at Mario party. He's good at the mini games. Like, so I didn't want to like Dalton was complaining about how good I was at mini games all time. So I was like, <laughs> I'm going to be, I was like, I'm not going to be a dick and try to steal a star with two turns left. So I'm like, all right, but I got talked into it, and I'm like, you know what? It'll be good for the video. I'm like, I'm doing it for the video here. I'm like, I'm going against my better judgment. So I do it. I challenge him for the star, and I wind up losing, of course. I don't even remember <laughs> what the game was at this point. Yeah. Oh, so God. He, he then has two stars, but we're about even in coins. So I'm like, all right, you know what? There's still a chance I could win this. I'm like, all three of the the bonus stars at the end, I'm like, should fall my way. Yeah. And I didn't get any of the bonus stars. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I know I'm going to have Dalton beaten coins and mini games. So I'm like, it's just a matter of which other star they hand out. And it comes like the very end. And I get two stars. Dalton now has two stars. One of which is mine, which by the way, I had stolen in the same turn I that I dueled stars. him for the star. I had three stars. That's why you ended up not beating me. Oh, is that what? Yeah. I thought you had two, and then... Yeah, I had three, and you got two. Oh, no, you did stars. have three, because I wound up getting two. Yeah. Because if I would have tied you with three stars, I would have had more coins than you. Yep, and you would have won. Yeah, so oh, I had the most yeah. epic fail. Like, I steal a star, land on Dalton Space, duel him, lose the star to him in the same turn. Yeah. And then I wind up... Uh at the bonus stars, getting two of the bonus stars, and then I missed the minigame star, the one that I thought was a dead lock because I had won so many minigames. It's because Boots because kept getting I 1v3s. didn't have enough coins. Yeah. Yes, he kept getting 1v3 games and getting all of our coins. Yep. So he beat me in coins by, like, eight. So I wind up... <laughs> 
to the point of if I would have got the third star, it would have beat Dalton. It would have been an epic video. It was still a pretty goddamn like this, good video, though. I mean, it would have been like this epic comeback story of me having zero stars going into the bonus star, sweeping it, and then winning. Yeah, we got off, but <laughs> the bonus stars <laughs> are what would make the episode, though, because they are mm-hmm. complete and utter bullshit. They are, but <laughs> they're the worst so, thing. As I'm like screaming at Boots for fucking me out of winning. <laughs> And then Rob yeah, walks can... over and notices that the video didn't record the entire time, so it was just like the most deflating moment yeah. ever. Oh my god, yeah, I would have been pissed about that. Gustavo asked me, he's like, man, I bet you were pissed. How pissed were you? And I was like, we weren't even <laughs> pissed. We were just so, like... We had the point of, like, we just laughed and we're like, of course. Of yeah. course this would happen. <laughs> of course. Because the new happen, webcam you know. we've got looks looked really good. It was recording us in 1080p. Well, you know what I mean? So we looked really good. All of us. We were uh we wore our good shirts. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> we're bow tights. Makeup, everything. We were fucking yeah. look, we were looking fly as fuck for this episode and Yeah. So then we tried to recreate the magic and play Mario Super Strikers and like uh it didn't it work. Yeah, yeah, we were no, all just, just like defeated and Rob made us look bad because he's really good at it and Yeah, we've been drinking <laughs> and but it yeah. was pre- that was pretty funny too though, just because Dalton's like both goalies are purely CPU controlled. God. And for some God. reason, mine was terrible and didn't block anything. And <laughs> Dalton's literally blocked five shots in a row with two seconds left oh to tie the my game. God. My goalie wow. was on steroids. For sure. Yeah, I was like, I was like, how the fuck did you get Tim Howard on your team? <laughs> I was taking God, good no. wide open shots and yeah, I was like, "This I, is fucking was bullshit." Like that. it was oh a lot. God. That's fantastic. He it's got Tim Howard. Like, like I had never played Strikers before, and I thought, you know, like especially right at the beginning, he scored back to back goals in like ten seconds. Oh yeah, minutes. I that was. Nothing. I thought I was golden. And then all of a God, sudden, Lord. somehow I just started. I scored what six goals in a row, and it was up like six to two. Yeah, it was. It was obnoxious. And he came oh back God! And almost won, but my goalie blocked. That's yeah, yeah. You got Tim Howard from South Africa. No, from yes. Brazil. Beg- oh God, yeah. no, Lord, you, 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 you got saved, man. Your crocodile goal and his giant dick were just saving yeah. everything. <laughs> Cock smacking <laughs> the ball away. <laughs> so uh, so we, don't, we don't currently have an episode of Oldies and Coldies. We are getting together next week. It was supposed to be this week, but we're gonna get together next week. Yeah. So we're gonna try to film multiple episodes in one night. So. That'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. Before to that. We're gonna... before, Dal- before Dalton goes back to work for the summer. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna we're actually gonna try, like I think uh Colt and I are both like willing to do this. We uh we're gonna try to pump out quite a few episodes before I go back to work. So we've got about another yeah. month and a half before yeah. I go back. You guys so. can do you can guys can like record a bunch of episodes that way we can dole them out once a month kind of thing. Yeah. 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 And then get them throughout yeah, the summer until I get it laid off again. Okay. Cool. I'm yeah, cool. Got a problem with that. So that's my pl- that's what I'd like to do. It's hard because of Rob's schedule, but right. And yeah. I already I already told these guys like I told Colt and Rob both that we're not doing oldies and coldies unless all three of us are present. So, yeah, that's fair. Dedicated. Yeah, that's we're to the each show. other. Yeah, in a totally heterosexual yeah. three way kind of man, way. Man, I'm gonna have to yeah. go up there in a zip in a zip car and crash that party, man. Oldies and coldies, I gotta be part of that. <laughs> dude, yeah. Honestly, if you could make it here for an episode, dude, that would be awesome, dude. I would drop whatever I'm doing, like seriously. You guys think some? You guys probably think I'm joking, but I'd really consider it, man. I, I, I'm not. Dude, I don't think you're joking. New I, York's not that far dude. away, and I would totally yeah, pick like, you up. Yeah, I could totally drive. I'd probably be cheaper to fly, actually. But I'd take you <laughs> yeah, up there, yeah, dude, I'm serious. Kind of, you would. If I can, man, I'd be there too. Yeah. So wait, yeah. I thought you're only like down the road. I am. Well, no, I'm saying if like my schedule permits, because I'm working. All oh, the okay. Time. Totally. I'm not, doing, I'm not doing shit, dude. Yeah. I, I talked about bringing JB in for like a N64 Smash Melee tournament. Uh, oh, yeah. We actually we just talked about that the other day. Um, I'm down. I think we should play the GameCube one. Though. I know like our first, well, pretty much every episode is gonna be GameCube for a while, but yeah. I think we should do Melee. That's my favorite Smash. I think yeah. I suck at Smash, so you guys. God, are I hate it. The whole time. I'm not good at so much it. in this. But I'm I think terrible at it. That would be a lot of fun. That would so. be a lot of fun. We're gonna do. We've got. We've got some plan. I'm not gonna tell yeah, you. I was, yeah, I don't. Want, I don't want to spoil everything you yeah. guys are gonna be. Doing. We've got some pretty damn. Like, actually, he, Colt and I were talking about it at Rob's house the other day. What we, we got planned. So, 
I'm really looking forward yeah. to it, actually. Oh, yeah. It's going to be super we're, fun. It's going, be, it's going to be some fun games coming out. Yeah, I'm excited to annoy the shit out of people with NES and Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Oh, don't even... Don't... don't no. Stop it. Should we ban NES? Big NES guy. We might need to. It's not even that good. No, it's just certain people... I'm not even I'm not even that good with, with him. It's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, so I'm trying to play with Ike. Ike's super overpowered. So basically, the, the, yeah. the takeaway we want you guys to have is that Ollie's and Coldy's episode two was a complete failure, and uh, we will be back. Yes. To look out for uh, episode two point five. AEG will rebound from this, mistake. and it will be fresh. It'll be a completely fresh episode. It won't be like riding off the coattail of the one we, re- well, we supposedly recorded. It'll yeah. just be completely Certified new. fresh. We attempted yep. to record. What we did a couple days ago is gone forever. So. But what you a guys lost have it in your heart. It's there, and it was it's a good in time. your heart. <laughs> I just want everyone to know that yeah. I had a blast anyway. So. Yeah. And that's at the also, end of the day, I, man. Also, I dominated the warm-up game, so. Yeah. I think I won the warm-up game with, like, five stars to one, so. Yeah, you, Damn, killed, man. you destroyed the warm-up game. Damn. So. Not that either of them count for anything now, but. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, mine wasn't recorded either, so neither one of them <laughs> yeah. actually happened. Uh, yeah, so I, I at least got bragging rights, so. Yeah. <laughs> you sure do, man. You win some, you lose some, right? We're both going to yeah. shit the bed next time we play. Probably. Yeah. Most we'll likely, yeah. Last. Probably. We also talked about the, uh, was it maybe Mario Part 8 that was on Wii that had the soda shaking game, which oh. is like the most unintentionally oh, sexual thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about that. We'll have that. Yeah, literally, it, be horrible, it needs to be. You just had to jerk off your Wii mode <laughs> as fast as you possibly could. <laughs> so you guys are going to find out the funniest game. <laughs> In the near future, who is the best at beating it? So, yep. yeah. so fun. Yeah, uh, Laurel Mike. Yeah, I just got a freaking, game. just got a dumbbell shaking like, chick, 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 chick. as a training <laughs> method for it, you know, stuff like that. Jesus. But yeah, that, I'll yeah, start, that's all these in your yeah. shake weight. Uh, oh my god. Um. So I mean, we, uh, I mean, we've been at this quite a while already. Like, yeah. it's already gonna be a long episode. Um. It's good though. So you, far. I would say you guys wanna, wanna yeah, roll keep it going. The, yeah. The main main topic. Soundtracks. Yes. Just Soundtracks. Rolling, 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 rolling. Cole, I know you're the you're the main event, but I think you should start this one because this was your idea yes. for a topic. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Go ahead and um, explain what what yeah. you kind of thought of. I I was going like in my head, you know. <laughs> it's, it's a weird it's a weird place. Don't go. There. <laughs> I don't don't recommend it. But I was thinking, like. Soundtracks with like actual songs is where I was heading, but I would like to hear some other ideas too because there's so many good ones out there. Okay. But like when I first think of this, like I always think of the first Tony Hawk. Yes, they were all so, so good. good though. The first so one good. though is it personally my most memorable. Oh yeah, maybe because it's just the first Tony Hawk, so it has such like a just yeah. such a soft spot in my heart. Yeah. Was that the one that had Power Man 5000 on it? Or yes. was that two? No, that was two. No, I thought, I, I thought Power Man 5000 was in the first one, too. World's Collide? Uh, I remember hearing that on that yeah, game. Yeah, World's Collide I, was on the second one. Okay, yeah. Man, I could have sworn that was the first one, but I think you're right now. I think about it. Yeah, the first one had uh, Dead Kennedys on it. Oh. Goldfinger, Superman, which was one of my favorite songs oh, ever. Oh, man. Yeah. Gotta love old punk. Prime. Primus, Suicidal Tendencies, Suicide Machines, The Vandals, just a bunch of good, like, old punk bands, which I'm super for. But one of the ones that kind of gets forgotten is Tony Hawk's Underground, which actually won an MTV Video Award. Yes, and that was, honestly, that's my personal favorite Tony Hawk, like, the story. They, I have a... they only did uh, they only did that award for, like, three years, but it won the very first one, and just, like... There's 81 songs, which for a PlayStation 2... That's a lot of freaking Soundtrack songs. is insane. Yeah, and the game is like was... Sub- I was insane. Yeah, I have... the game was too. I have, I have a confession to make. I've never played the Tony Hawk Underground games. Well, the second, oh, one, so the second one you can skip. I mean, it's not yeah. it's not bad, but you can skip that one. The Honestly, first one, you should like, play it. It's we, just... we, I'm, I'm not I'm not throwing anything out here, but Oldies and Coldies, Tony Hawk Underground... I don't know because it's so single player, man. Yeah, but we can just like pass, it's pass the controller. Pass the control. Yeah, do, old school multiplayer. It's cool. Yeah, it's a pretty good man. Yeah, but yeah, I guess we, we can do it's it, possible. But... I'm not saying anything if you guys don't play want some to. skate or something, you know. Yeah, I, if you guys don't want to, I completely understand. But that that would I think that would be really fun. Hmm. But but just like a quick breakdown of bands that are on 
that underground soundtrack, Alkaline Trio, Bad Religion, Dropkick Murphys, Jane's Addiction, No Effects, Rise Against, it's- Social D, Sublime, The Clash, um, let's see, Clutch, uh, Kisses on the Road, like three different songs, oh, yeah, Mastodon, Slum It Down, Queens Damn, of the Stone dude. Age. There was a whole yeah, Kiss had their own level on there. We yeah. like play at a, a Kiss concert in hell. Yeah, wow, that's insane. cool. You could like fucking like do a grind on the drums or something. I can't remember what it was, yeah, but it's, it's insane. Cool. It was awesome, dude. And th- honestly, you, you mentioned Sublime, and that that takes me back to the very first time I ever played the first Dave Mira. And oh, so what good. I got was on there, and dude, oh, that good. was so fucking awesome. Like when I was a kid, that was the first time I'd heard that song. So nice. Right. I know. And you were talking about that the other day, the Dave Mira one, and you hadn't played two, but Dave Mira two soundtrack was so good too. Yeah. Sublime was on there again, like yeah. um, Honestly, Black like, Sabbath. I don't there know if it's just like what we thing. grew up on, but like the old like extreme sports genre, like yeah, had like soundtracks that really hit home. I think to all of us because like I know like you know Colt Dalton and I like we kind of it sounds like we. Very much grew up on the same style of music, yep. so like that it was. It's really, I think, why why those have such a like special place. For Except us. for Fall Out Boy. Yes, I don't care. <laughs> I like Fall Out Boy. Fight me. I, I oh God. Back on that. But, uh, <laughs> another one like the Madden soundtracks are usually pretty good. Like yeah, 04 especially... sticks out. I'll say in the mid two thousands they were good. really good. But the one that like. Gets no love that should get a ton is uh, Madden 10. Madden 10 had Tupac, Allison Chains, B.O.B., The Beastie Boys, Cypress Hill, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Kill Switch, Korn, Mastodon, Nas, Nirvana, Pantera had Walk on there, which is a fucking banger. Uh, <laughs> that is such a Rage weird. Against the Machine, Slip yeah. Some of a Down. Of it was like just. Such a, it's eclectic. Yeah. It was just a good That's soundtrack. A killer overall. soundtrack. Um, my one of my personal, if we're talking like licensed soundtracks, still is Burnout Three. Probably one of my favorite uh-huh. ones ever. I actually sure, just yeah. listened to that soundtrack uh, the other day. Uh, they have it on YouTube. They have just like a playlist of it. It's it's a lot of like like punk bands and stuff like that. I mean like My Chemical Romance is on there Rise Against mm. stuff like that that's actually mm-hmm. where I, a lot of those bands I kind of found why you know figured out like I like these guys and then I would like listen uh-huh. to the rest of their stuff um, the other one is the first the first Need for Speed Underground oh, um, dude, I remember so, oh, so yeah. Yeah. Like, that was so good man. man I yeah. love that game we're kind of plugging EA a lot yeah like, they had their uh, soundtrack they had their, they, shit, do. they had their shit together back in I the I totally want to give them a plug year. for MVP yeah. Baseball 2005 they had a great soundtrack too a lot of the MLB games honestly had a lot of uh, yeah. yeah a lot of good soundtracks as well they're still okay like I play, yeah I like yeah. <laughs> the one Need in the for show Speed was... Underground 1 and 2 were both great yes, yes. But I personally, like, one sticks with me way more, yeah, but two too. was still very, very good. Well, it's because one was, like, the first game where you could do whatever the fuck you wanted to your car and just make it look sick as fuck. Yep. And then... oh, yeah, pretty much. Like, I yeah. want, if, if we're talking, like, remasters, like, give me a remaster of Need for Speed Underground. Please. <laughs> yeah, I remember, oh, I remember yeah. in the first one, for whatever reason, like, my main car was a Honda Civic. Damn and right. in the last race, you face off, I think, is against an RX-7. Yep. And I couldn't beat it with the Civic, and I was so upset that I needed to get the Skyline in order to win. I'm yep. like, no, the Civic <laughs> took me through everything. I have to give you up now. Yeah, but the <laughs> R34 is such a beautiful car. Damn right. Oh, man. Not God. much of a foreign car guy myself, but I am a huge fan of the old Skylines nice. and the old Supras. Yep. Are... Yeah. But, uh, God. soundtracks. I miss the <laughs> underground games. Yeah. Soundtracks. Yeah. Uh, started talking about a Civic with his yeah. spinners. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no spinners on my Civic. <laughs> no, none for me. I'll tell you that. No, Marlon, you just have uh, hydraulics in your car. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. The Simple as that. Okay. Of someone else's car. <laughs> Lord Almighty. God, Lord Almighty. We need to go. He's nice. Honduran, not Mexican. That's yeah. <laughs> Lord. It's like, I'll tell you this, man. I would love to just go to fucking Cleveland where you guys are with a freaking Phantom Rolls Royce. Like, here's my fucking hydraulic motherfucker. <laughs> and just pull him out. Fuck you. <laughs> but yeah, I think as far like, you guys pretty much named off all, like, 
the in really terms of good like licensed, licensed stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but I think like my three favorite soundtracks because they're kind of original scores, especially um, you know Final Fantasy games. Like I kind of mentioned it before the podcast. Um, they're all really good. I, I mean, even today, my today. The, the majority of Final Fantasy music is, is very good. Yeah. Ten is my Final favorite Fantasy fifteen game of all time. Final Fantasy ten is my favorite game of all time. And whenever I still to this day, whenever I hear two Xanarkin, yes, it is just one of the yep. greatest moments ever. The battle music in that game is really good. Oh, too. absolutely. And then of one course, the Nier Angel. Automata won soundtrack of the year this past year, and it deserved it. It, it it's probably very deserves. Good. Probably deserves soundtrack of all time, honestly. It was so fucking it was good. Really good. Oh, that's high praise. <laughs> yeah. And then, obviously, uh, it's a game that I played recently, is Shadow of the Colossus. Yes. The music, the music for that game is just second to none. It yes. really, it's... Like that, that little, that little, like, jingle almost, like, when you, when you kill a Colossus, and, like, its body's turning into the shadow stuff. And like, the music just while you're riff. fighting the Colossus. Yes. Each individual Colossus and right. stuff. It's so good. Like, yep. if you haven't played it, play it. Um... Honestly, like, I have a very, like, off-the-wall, like, original score, like, favorite original score, um, which is uh, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution. The, oh, the older one. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the one, yeah. the 360 era one, not yeah. the newest one. Like, the music, like, in the main, just the main menu music, like, I can listen to that song, like, on loop just forever because it's just really, I don't know what it is about that specific song, but it just really hits me. And just the music in general is really good. It's very, very like sci-fi techno. Right. Kind of very fits the the nature of that game. So I don't know why that that soundtrack has always kind of stuck with me. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, what do you? What else do you guys got? Like in uh, terms of original scores. Can I backtrack for just a second? Yeah, just Because I want to like talk about. I'm just looking at the car list from Need for Speed Underground, the first <laughs> one. <laughs> And I just want to talk about like how absolutely ricery it is. Oh yeah, well, the most. <laughs> uh, that was like the height of Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's all right. Junk. Just some of the random cars. Acura Integra Type R. Which is a the Honda. Dodge Neon. Because <laughs> that's such a Dodge illustrious Neon race car. Yeah, I know. Right? I always pick the Dodge Neon first. Yeah, not even like the SRT4. Like just the Dodge Neon. Yep. Uh, the Ford Focus ZX3 Ford. hatchback. There you go. The Volkswagen the GTI. Uh, yeah, yep, the, the Civic Si, the uh, Honda S2000, the Hyundai Tiburon GT, yeah, the MX-5 Miata, really obviously. Car in that game. Uh, Eclipse, they had the Eclipse and the Lancer on there. Yep. Uh, the 350Z and the 240SX from Nissan, as well as the Nissan Sentra. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what had that one there. Like, okay, uh, whatever. The Toyota Silica GT, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> like the wow. car list on this That's so bad. Good. Dude, honestly, after the Fast and the Furious came out, dude, there was kids doing those anything like that. There was kids like running around. Oh yeah. Fucking, oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Dumbass spoiler. It's like, it's like the diesel pickup e- epidemic of today. Yeah. That's what it was um, when we were kids. It yeah. Was the fucking. Okay. <laughs> the diesel, the diesel epidemic. Has, it was like it's, it's an like, epidemic, yeah, dude. dude. It's it's the no bullshit. Diesel. It was like it, it's like the Ford Escort was like the coolest yeah. car you could have for no reason, and that was never a cool car. Really. No. <sighs> So. Like, for some reason, just I have such fond memories of that game that I thought the car list was super sweet, and then I go back and look again, and I'm like, oh my god, that car list was so bad. Yeah, yeah dude, it was bad. <laughs> no grand truth. Yeah, yeah I just... Now. I just uh, the one for two isn't much better, but they like at least they added like a Mustang. And that's yeah, they added cool, they started adding some muscle cars in there, yeah, like the so. Audi TT. Uh, yeah, it's, but they it's also like randomly decided cars. that putting SUVs was a good idea in the second <laughs> one. Oh, so my the God, I forgot they yeah. did SUVs in that. I was about to say the Escalade, that. the Hummer, the Lincoln Navigator so, yeah, is on could, there. You could legit like you could customize the fucking subwoofers in the back of <laughs> yes. your. Oh, freaking Lincoln! Well, that was part of the that game. You had Thor. to like, you had show. Yes. You needed to yeah. cater to yes. all. You had to have show cars. Yeah, oh, my God. So I forgot. Oh, yeah, that was one of the reasons I didn't get into two. Shows. I liked two, but not nearly as much as one. I played one so many. Two was like times. open world, though. Kind it was. Of. It was like one of the first first seasons of open world. Yeah, I feel like that game inspired like the Horizon series and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Horizon. Dude, the open world like dub magazine car shows where you had to put speakers and 24s on your navigator well you remember when when midnight club did the when their third game came out it was literally called the dub edition because that's yeah. what it was based around well, i just yeah. want to like plug the first one real quick 
do you guys remember like when you first turned on I, I it feels like it's the first song that played but when you first played the first Need for Speed Underground fucking Lil Jon yeah get low. get low yeah, that, that was the first fucking song yeah. in that game that you had. everybody loved yeah. that song at that time yeah, yeah it was boom. hot shit right then I think for me, the one that I just kept playing, replaying for me was Riders Under Storms. I'm like, the this thing, yeah. this no, thing just keeps opener. going on repeat, one, like, yeah. for the eighth time. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah that was the opener, opening song from the second one, and that, that one also sticks with me, too. And I feel like this podcast could go on forever. We really could talk. I could talk about this shit all the time. This oh, one's worth $2. <laughs> this one's worth $2. <laughs> yeah, this was a good one, fellas. It's going to be oh, long. Oh, God. Long. Long. Uh, long. Long. God. Long. 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 Pete Pablo, Need for Speed was on there. Yeah. Uh, Ti's twenty fours was on there. That was a yes. good one. Yes. Twenty four, that's how all my hair was roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. That was a good one. But that, was so good. that was some good. Dude, good I miss game good. soundtracks now. There's, I know. Yeah. There's nothing. That, there's like. Maybe I just don't play that kind of game anymore to not realize I, it. But it, I, just I mean, feel but like, like I've perfect. played like the newer Need for Speeds, and they just have not gotten. Like yeah. they haven't got, they haven't been to that level anymore. Yeah. Or, or I just don't pay attention as much as I used to. But because that was the that was the era when you had like one game every six months, and yeah. you had to play the ever living shit out of it. Yeah. You know. And so like MLB got... the Show still usually has okay soundtracks. Yeah, like yeah, MLB the Show. Yeah. It wasn't sure. like yeah. I played seventeen, and I didn't. Not not a whole lot of the music really stuck with me. Yeah, right. the show's usually like hipstery music though. Okay, maybe that's they put like right. they put like the Lumineers and shit on the show. Yeah, they did <laughs> like. Uh, yeah. I was like, come on, I don't need this show, please. <sighs> but yeah, so, like so yeah. excited for the show. Um, Can't wait. I was say I, I know like Goose and Marlin, you guys didn't really like give an original score. An original score. <laughs> No, uh, I'm. I was waiting for you guys to finish. I oh. actually looked up a couple of ones that I actually uh, liked. Okay, uh, Dalton sort of touched on it with Final Fantasy 15, uh, Vol City Fantastica. Like that was a great song. Like I loved it. I thought it was kind of cool. Final Fantasy 15 yeah. was just great in general. Damn right, mm-hmm. fucking fantastic. That's when I welcomed back Square Enix a little bit. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> and uh, God of War. Like I played. I, I've talked about it various times, but I played these games. Have... I was gonna. Yeah. Reference I was that waiting for Goose to reference yeah, that. Yeah, that's honestly why yeah. I didn't say anything because I'm like, yeah, Goose will talk about it. I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Th- those. Those. One of the uh, me- most memorable like opening theme songs of Kratos, like Kratos' mm-hmm. theme. Well, I Rage listened to that one you sent us too, Gustavo. Yes. It was fucking awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's it's for the new God of War. Uh, that's take that takes place in North mythology. But there's an actual original overture for the for Kratos in in the Greek period, and that's really cool too. Oh, and a real quick, a real, real quick shout out. And I actually, this is a great thing because I'm going to talk about destiny in a positive light. Oh. But do you guys, do you guys remember when Gaul kicks you off of his ship? Yes, obviously. Yeah. And, you, that and you're just all screwed up and you're walking slowly yes. underneath that, that, um, that overpass. Yes. And then that you're in, song the, in the mountains is, too. Oh my god, that yes. song. That's why I thought Destiny 2 was going to be awesome. Yes. Like that, <laughs> I still, like, I, like, I don't like playing through the intro that much of that game, but that part is still, like, gets me... It, like, like captures it, your emotions. It, it does. Like, it, yeah, it really does. And then they it just... It the back. heart But we're not going to yep. talk about that. We're not talking... We are not talking about Destiny. No, other than what was <laughs> just said. And a real quick shout out to for anybody who played Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare. Uh, the title theme is awesome as well. Yes, I'll give you that one. Yeah. yeah. I turned on Infinite Warfare and, and that was about it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, it's a good game. You should give it a shot. At least the player is. The, the main menu theme for World, Call of Duty World War II is also really good. Also, I was talking. To Dalton mm-hmm. about this this weekend. I'm so excited for a new Black Ops game. I oh, like Black Ops Four. A I, Black Ops yeah. game that's boots on the ground. Yeah, well, we're really gonna that? get that. Other than the fir- other than the first Black Ops because of the right. Yeah, yeah, other than the first Black Ops. Yeah, I love the Black Ops series. Ironically, the first uh, Black Ops is the last one I played. So. Well, you should get back I, to it, man. Maybe, I, well, yeah, now might be the time. Granted, it's it's. Also coming out like a week after uh, Red Dead 2, so I don't think any of us are really going to play that right away. 
Also, just because I wasn't on the last podcast and Jeff talked about it and it made me super jealous, the extinction mode on Ghost was so fun. Yes, it was. Oh, it was like the best yeah, everybody talked that, that up. That's the alien Call, one. I right? love. Yes. Yeah, I loved Call of Duty Ghosts in general. I love the multiplayer maps. Like I'm in the popular. I'm in the minority. Yeah, yeah it's I'm the most the very, popular one in terms of current. Very gen. small minority yeah. on that one. Yes, oh, I yeah. loved Ghosts. I You're thought like it was with so the fun. ODST people right now. Whatever, man. ODST. Oh, hey, speaking of great uh, soundtracks, ODST probably has one of my favorite soundtracks ever, and that's why I like it. The game's trash. It's, it's, there you go. <laughs> I, picking back on like the soundtrack uh, things, I think like the few of the ones that stand out for me will be uh, the soundtrack for Ace Combat Five. Um, soundtrack for Final Fantasy. Fantasy. Yeah, yeah Ace English, Combat series. Son of a bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, Ace Combat 5. Ace um, Combat 5. Ace Combat 5. There you please. Because uh, then he says it so fast. C- <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> uh, uh, Soundtrack for Kingdom Hearts. Um, soundtrack for Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy 7, of course. One Winged Angel. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is like a, that for me is like every time I hear I get chills um, and on top of my I, head I, I plugged all of the first 10 Final Fantasies I just went ahead he's like yeah. I had it covered so just, yeah, I yeah I got it. He did tell, he did which mention. one's your favorite just just all of them ten. Just, just like all ten. of them please <laughs> so I just hear one wing angel and I just all I can think of is Kenny Omega thank so. you that's all I think of too but <laughs> just you know. re- wrestling, wrestling references like, again like seriously we need to do a wrestling podcast yeah no bullshit Yep. I, yeah, I'm down. I and it, it's cool because it'll probably get me to watch it again. I mean, yes. I haven't seen the product in a couple of years, well, I mean, but it would probably get me to watch season, it. So why not? Yeah, I was gonna say and now's I, the time to jump on. It's actually gonna be entertaining. I get those stupid about. emails only for nine ninety nine. Sign up for the WWE <laughs> Network. I yeah, love the network. I do too. I was a day one subscriber to yep. the network. Yeah, yeah they, they locked you up for six months when I first did it. I remember at the beginning. It was still worth it. Was. I remember the, I remember the first match care. I saw was WWE No Way Out 2001, uh, Rocky versus Angle. That was the first <laughs> yeah, match yeah. I saw. Anyway, I'm yeah. sorry. I went on a tangent. Uh, Just and... for everybody's... Uh, uh... Clarity. Uh, Dalton's just literally sitting here shaking his head at all of us right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, really I used to though. I'm, I'm not going to pass judgment here. So. Uh, sure? I've said this multiple times, at least unlike the NFL and other professional sports, at least the uh, WWE is honest about that. Honest uh, about being rich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, get, I, they take some hard bumps, man. Yep. But I think, I'll tell you this, my favorite original soundtrack will be the beginning title for The Last of Us. Just listening to that freaking uh, get acoustic guitar it just makes me go like, oh, okay. It's a violin, is, dude. It's, it's just so freaking good, man. It's like, I'm it's pretty sure it's just... a violin. A guy with a violin did that soundtrack, dude. It's Gustavo. So his fun. name is Gustavo Santolella or whatever. I'm, I'm probably butchering his last name. Right. But he's like some Brazilian yeah, artist or something. Down. Yeah. Oh, it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically <laughs> enough. But I tell you that that is just beautiful, man. It's like yeah, it no. just gets you Last of Us into is a like. Really good one. The Last of Us is just a great game. Oh, Uncharted also. The oh, Uncharted, yeah. Uncharted. Right. The title theme, doom, 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 doom. Yeah, with yeah. the drums, yeah. yeah. God totally. damn, I need to play through Uncharted again. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> man, there's so many good soundtrack themes, stuff like that. Really like, you could go on oh, forever. Oh, wait a I can't believe we didn't mention Doom. Yeah. Doom, Doom soundtrack, I thought was awesome. It was just heavy metal. It was mm-hmm. like uh, I forgot who the artist was. It was cool. Yeah, there's just we could go on and on about soundtrack. Yeah, I was gonna say we could talk about this all day. Especially the ones that grab nostalgia. Maybe maybe what we'll do um, is for like a future episode, like we'll give it like now that we've kind of have that that idea planned in everybody's heads, like we'll like go back, kind of think about it, like really think about it, and give our like top five soundtracks. I agree. I think yeah. um, this is kind of separate from the soundtrack thing, but I think we should definitely have uh, Colt 40 on again. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, absolutely. For sure. So, I mean, we absolutely need him. I missed Rob, unfortunately, but I'm People glad I got to be in with Colt. Colt, Colt we, we, need to, uh, we need to come up with a name for this wrestling podcast, man. Um, it's, I'm sure that won't be that hard. No, probably not. Um, I definitely want to have Mark on with you guys bitches. for some... Uh, Hey, Mark, I'm, Mark, I'm cool with the that. Mark ass bitches cast. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Like I want, I want to hop on with you guys for some PS4 streams and stuff in Hell the future. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's, he's already been so, part of a few. I mean, let's say obviously Fortnite's such a easy one nowadays because we can have teams of four get on. and yeah. Right, and it's like super easy to jump into because like 47 million people are playing it. And we're all pretty yeah, bad, exactly. so it's pretty entertaining. Yeah, stuff, it's so. also fun in that way. It killed, it killed, Parag- <laughs> it killed Paragon. It did I, kill Paragon. That is yeah, correct. That game sucked anyway. It was alright. I, I, I found out the hard way I can't host streams because I live out of town and I have fucking jank internet. But you got AOL and it. I was just. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> but dial up in 2018. I I do not have dial up. I at least I I have okay internet. So I, like I can at least play it online and not lag out. But the second I try to stream, like it's, yeah, my I internet's like what internet the hell is this shit? He, he, he tried to stream for us once and it just didn't. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, at least you can be on stream. Yeah. But I can be on stream, so that's cool. I just don't have to host, which right. takes oh, away all the responsibility, no which means I get to drink beer and play video games with my friends and not have to worry. So, so I'm that's what makes all the, for makes that. The off. That's what makes Oldies yes. and Goldies so cool, is that's what we do. Right. We and drink beer and play video games. Mine's oh, yeah. failing at so... Yeah, because we were drunk. Oh. No. no, that's not why. But... <laughs> I mean, on the first Fireside Fridays, I got pretty toasty. That was fun. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's called Fireside. You're supposed to get toasted. Right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, see? It's a, I mean, it's just... it, wor- it works. It's a good pun right there. It's a good That's... pun. Yeah, if, uh, if there's nothing else we we need to add, I think, uh, we'll, I think let, we're good. we'll let Colt kind of plug his stuff and plug, uh, you know, for the baby and stuff like that if you want real quick. Right. Go for it. Say, obviously, uh, check out our stuff at for the baby on Twitter, the letter for the baby. Uh just random articles. We've been on a hiatus this month just with, you know, work and life. Me and Dalton both uh, parents to be here in the short future, so yes. I've been doing a lot of housework lately, so I have not. Yeah, congrats, bro. Yeah, really like just joining the dad after club. After yeah. Yeah. Damn. So, you know, All right, been Marlon doing tons of housework. Better get busy, now. man. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and follow me, yeah, personally, crazy, follow me personally on Twitter at underscore colt 40 underscore i'm funny i'll no, follow, he won't you back. follow you back he knows me and he still won't follow me back i did too you piece of shit <laughs> you didn't you scumbag i'm telling say, you do you follow I, me because i'm probably not he's checking right now yeah i think that's what i am i'm <laughs> and you haven't added him on nintendo switch apparently yeah that part yeah. that part i have you not. don't follow I, me I, i'm I, looking at it right now danny or colt. i do follow you <laughs> it doesn't say follows you back it's good. It's getting real. He's calling me by my real name. I'm pretty upset. I'm about to bring out the middle name once I Google it. <laughs> God, Lord Almighty. Okay. So, I, especially if you call me out, I will follow you back. <laughs> I just figured you hadn't seen it yet, man. I was just fucking with you. But uh, Like he's scrambling to the, get, to the fucking switch. Going, oh, get the back, get back. <laughs> <laughs> Busting out my iPhone 5 so that I can go back to 2005 and follow you. <laughs> uh, by the way, best phone ever, Google Pixel, until oh, I take an app snap down. Right. I'm right there with you. I own a Pixel, buddy. <laughs> you get every, he follows me. You get like, I was going to say that earlier, but you guys were talking a lot. So. Hey, Google, but, uh, uh, sponsor our podcast. Yeah, sponsor the podcast. Uh, you get the cleanness of the iOS from Apple, but you get like all the expanded stuff from Android. It's like the best of both worlds, and I absolutely I love loved it. Pixel. But like, yeah. but like my insides melted on my Pixel. So I actually got a replacement about a week ago. <laughs> yeah, I still have to call because apparently they're doing like extended warranties that I didn't know about. Yeah, they have like a speaker issue that's like inherent to the to the build of the phone, and they'll do it no problem. Yeah, I, I literally. I don't know, this is getting into phone cast now, but I couldn't, like, I couldn't hear people when they called me, and they couldn't hear me, so. Same problem, yep. yep. So, that's the Google Pixel for you. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, what it is. That's Colt 40, everybody. Like I say, he, like, forthebaby.com, check those guys out. They actually do put out some pretty good shit. I actually try to read most of it, so. They definitely do. Um, they do. Check those guys you got out. got a podcast, they got Twitter, a podcast, too. All that fun stuff. Yep. And yeah. I think that's uh, going to do it. For our 12th episode. Yes, 12th episode. 
of the yeah, age. Probably, which probably would be our longest, I think. I'm thinking you're correct on that. Probably one, our best, though. Honestly, like, it's probably our best. Yes, one. will be our Even best it episode. Sucked, yet. I had fun making it. So yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah, I enjoyed it. Fuck yeah. But yeah, thanks, but, thanks again, Gustavo and Marlon. Like I said, you guys, always, you guys are my rock. No problem. I'm telling you. No problem. Thank you, Colt. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, if you want to hear me talk more. Uh, check out our Change of Plans podcast on Google Play and iTunes. Oh, that's right, yeah. Where I, where I actually get to talk more because I don't have four other people that talk a lot. Sorry. <laughs> Shots fired. I just got get, a notification. You need to get that wrestling podcast started. Dude, all yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, you don't have dude, I just got a notification. Fucking JB who interrupts everybody when they're talking. I know. Wow. I'm sorry for that. I think JB's pretty good on that no, front. No offense, Marlon. <laughs> um, I think I just got a notification that says uh, Colt 4040 has following me. Like, yes, yes, finally got a notification. Yeah, and then I realized, oh, shit, it. it's for the fucking AG cast. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so. I'm literally just going on a follow spree now because I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, and it's funny because I have face game and you guys don't, so you can like see me doing it. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I can see. Like, you can just see the shame. You can see the shame on my face. Of this, of this whole, of this whole recording is watching. His reactions, his facial reactions when he's talking. And now that we have a webcam, I thought, we can I thought do it was supposed to like hang out, live. you know. And... Oh, fine. Yeah, say, I'm not man. gonna lie. So, I'm yeah. not gonna say that your guys' podcast isn't as good as ours or anything, because that's not what I'm getting at. Oh shit! Okay. Damn. No. No. Shots <laughs> really. fired. He just made us Real look like shots shit. Fired. So this will be no, the last time you guys lighting have a fire for our game up. Yeah, we always face chat, so I like got in here and it's just like still frames of you guys, and I was like, oh, uh, apparently this isn't what this isn't what we do around here. <laughs> no, I thought we were gonna like hang out, webcam, man, or else or else you could see Dalton and I. Yeah, I thought we were gonna hang out digitally and like. We can do that from now on. That'd probably actually be really cool. Yeah, bring, yeah it webcam. would. I got a webcam on my thing too. I just never use it because yeah, you guys never use it. I'm cool with that. All right, so you guys have listened to us rattle on about nonsense, which yes. is the perfect. Ending to so the I come, podcast. I come yeah, here right. once and I change your entire podcast plan. <laughs> no, we do this all the time, man. The, yeah, for the most part, yeah. I meant, I meant video wise. Yeah. That's so next time when you're all staring at each other's ugly mugs, uh, yeah. <laughs> but... we can all blame Colt, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right, yeah. guys. Well, thank I appreciate you guys having me. I love yeah. you guys. Thanks for coming thanks on. We again, definitely man. need to get you on again. Oh, yeah. For sure. And thanks, everybody. It was for a pleasure, man. And until next week. We'll talk to you later. Marlon doesn't get the last word. Fuck you, Marlon.